third grade, week 12, rotation, revolution, and the seasons, you're using a model. Teachers, I'm going to uh, use this model with you to show your students how the seasons occur and also the word revolution and rotation. Right here on this globe, I put a red dot to show where we are in Texas. The reason that seasons occur is because of the tilt of the earth. It is not the distance from the sun. We have an elliptical orbit going around the sun, which is like an oblong oval. And a lot of people think that the further the earth is away from the sun, then it's winter. But that's not true because in the elliptical orbit over here, it should be winter again if that was true, and it's not. So it's, it is this 23 degree tilt of the Earth's axis that makes our seasons. This represents the sun, and you see that sunlight shining on the Earth, and it's, the tilt is pointing down, so we're not getting the full sun's rays hitting the surface of the land and making it hot, so that makes it winter. As I turn this, I'm going to point out how the earth moves away from those sun rays and watch the tilt of the earth. This would be spring and as I move it, I'm going to put the correct signs out. So here's spring, sorry, and as I move it again. This time, when we bring it back around, I'm going to go ahead and turn my earth so you can see the red dot. Now, the sun's rays are hitting the land full force head on, and it makes the earth hotter. So that summer is, is that season is summer. And as we move on around and daylight becomes shorter, and we're not getting the full hit of the sun's rays, and our days are short and our lights are long, then it's fall. And so this is, I have two of these models to use. So we don't have one for every table, but at least students will get to turn it gently. And you do have to be gentle with these models. And they can kind of understand that. Then what I, I'm going to do is we're going to set this whole scenario back up. I'm going to go ahead and show you what, how we demonstrate it for the younger grades. And it gives your kids some hands-on activity. Now that they see the model and they see the tilt to the earth, I'm going to give you a globe that has a tilt and I'm going to give you a beach ball that sits perpendicular to the sun. So they see what happens if we don't have the full effects of the sun rays. So let me set that up. Now teachers, you can see that I have the sun in the middle of the room. I'm gonna turn the lights out, make it dark. And you're going, the kids are gonna see the light shining on the surface of the earth. And now that they've seen the model, they should be able to model this a little better. So I'm going to walk over here and show you that the globe, which is sitting at a 23 degree angle to the sun, and I'm going to put my finger on Texas, and I'm going to move us to the winter time. When it's tilted down, we don't get the full effects of the sun, so it's colder. As I move over here to summer, because of the angle of it, we're getting all of the sunlight hitting Texas and it's hot. It is not the distance from the sun that makes those seasons. It's a 23 degree tilt. Now if I set this glove to the side and I pick up this beach ball and I have a sticker on Texas as well on this one right here. If we move in our circle around the sun, they're going to see that if we had 
no tilt at all. Everybody would always have the same weather. It, where it's cold, it would stay cold. Where it's hot, it would stay hot. So that kind of, after they look at the model and then they do this activity, they kind of get a better understanding of how we have the seasons. In third grade, we need to know that this earth moving around the sun is a revolution. It takes 365 days. When the earth rotates on its axis, it takes 24 hours, 12 hours of daylight, 12 hours of dark. That's how we get night and day. If they hold their finger on Texas and they roll that globe, they can see, okay, that's dark. And they always think the sun's coming up, but it actually never comes up because it's never moving. And when they actually do this hands-on activity, and they roll that globe and watch that sunlight hit it, then they understand that the sun is a star that never moves. It's the earth that's moving. So that's what we're going to do this week.